how do you add audio files in Kajabi? Well, Kajabi does have the option to add audio files to your page, pretty much any page, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But, and here's the thing, as you're going to see, the options Kajabi gives us, they're a, shall we say, they're a little limited from a design point of view. Shall we say, it doesn't always fit in with the design of the page. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to show you how to add your own player and still have Kajabi host the files for you. So, let's jump over to Kajabi and get started. So here we go, I'm in my Kajabi admin area and I've already got a basic page open. In fact, it's really basic, there's hardly anything on it. Let's add some audio. If I come over here to the left and I click add section and then scroll down and select add audio and then click add. Kajabi has given us a block where the audio file is going to be displayed on our page. I'm just going to select that, just click on it to select it. And then to add our audio file, if I come over here and click add audio and then choose file. And then it's there, select that and then click open. File uploads. Once it's uploaded, the file is added. If I just click, come down here and click save to refresh the page. There we go. And see what I mean? It takes up quite a bit of space. But if the audio file is, say, the main focus of your page, that's fine. If not, if it's a little bit big for you, I'll show you another method in a minute. A more streamlined option. A more not-so-much-in-your-face option. Anyway, assuming you're happy with the Kajabi default player, you could, if you wanted, you could also add a, a thumbnail to dress it up a little bit. I'll just come over here on under Thumbnail Image. I'll just click under Select Image, Upload New File. Choose File. Thumbnail. We'll select that. Click Open. Click Save. And there we go. You could now enter a title for your audio file. And that's the out-of-the-box solution from Kajabi. And I'll show you another option in a minute. What I'm going to do first, I'm just going to select that. And I'm going to come down here, I'm going to delete this block to remove it, select that, delete this section. There we go. Let's say, however, let's say you wanted to include maybe some recordings of some client calls, coaching calls, short snippets of audio, and you don't want to have that huge player messing with your design. You want something a little bit more discreet. Well, there's a hack. We can get Kajabi to still host the audio files for us, but we can use our own player. So let's do that. Back to Kajabi. So exactly the same as before, we're going to use the Kajabi add audio option because we're going to have to find the URL of your audio file so we can use it with our own player. So again, I'm going to come over here, add section. I want audio. I'm going to select that and click add audio. Then we'll click there to select the audio block. We want to add the audio file just like we did before. Choose file. Open. And when the audio file is uploaded, I'll click save to refresh the page. Then if we come up here to the top, I want preview. I'm going to load it into a browser. Now, to grab the URL, you're going to need the Google Chrome browser. If I come up here and then under view, if I come down to developer and then developer tools. Now, make sure that sources is selected. And before this will work, if you come up here, what you have to do is refresh the page. Then if you come down here under fast.wista.com, we will select that. And under embed stroke medias, we want to select that. And then this file here, I'm going to select that. And then here in this window, if we just scroll across, can you see that there where it says URL? What we're going to do, we want to highlight everything that's inside the quotes, everything from HTTPS all the way there to where it says .bin. So I'm going to highlight that, like that, and I'm going to copy it by Control c or Command-C if you're on the Mac. And once you've copied it, what you're going to have to do is paste it somewhere because you're going to need that shortly. This is the URL for your audio file. So let's jump back to Kajabi. Right, so we're back in Kajabi. So what we're going to do is add our own player. So the first thing you need to do, we no longer need this. So I'm going to select that, come down here, delete this block, and then... We'll also delete the section and I'll save the page and then we'll come over here, add section and we'll scroll all the way down to custom code. Click add, click save. 
and I'll just select the block that Kajabi's added. Now what Kajabi's done, they've given us a container here where we can paste in our own custom code. So let's have a look at the custom code. But before we get into that, if you're getting value from this lesson, let me know. Hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and I'll teach you lots more stuff for free. Anyway, back to the code. Okay, first this, URL to your audio files here. Guess what we're gonna paste there? This is the URL to the audio file you just saved. And I saved mine up here, so I'm just gonna select that, copy it, come down here and just paste that in like that. Now this part here, this is a div tag. Now the only reason I've included this is in case you wanna add a little bit of padding, maybe to position it better, or maybe you wanna change the background color, or maybe you wanna add a border, or change the color of the border. That's the only reason why I've done it. So don't let this confuse you. You can change it if you want to, or you can leave it, totally up to you. Anyway, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna select that. I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna jump back to Kajabi. So here we are back in Kajabi, and here in the custom code section, where it said code goes here, I'm just gonna highlight that, delete it, and then paste in our custom code. Click save. Then I'm gonna preview the page, and if we hit play, there we go, we've got audio playing. You've got a nice little audio player that we can insert pretty much anywhere on your page. I'll just stop that. So if adding audio to your page is something that you wanted to do, I hope this little hack has helped you. Until next time, bye for now.